Okay, Daniel is alive. Okay, I okay. Now listen, if you come, this is cheating. I'm sorry, but fuck you. Okay, because that's just that's just that was just bullshit. Okay. Um, that that should not have been a thing that happened. Now, I have a question, though. Because there's nothing else in the morgue that I can interact with. But... I've already unlocked this security door. So... What if... I turn on morgue lights. Or the generator. And instead of security. Can I still go into security? Scary. I can still go into security. So I wonder what changes in the morgue if I give it power. The light is on and pointed at the refrigerator. For some reason, that makes me feel a bit more at ease. Hmm. Oh wait, so if it's pointed at the refrigerators... Darkness can't be there. It doesn't like the light. See, it has the magnifying glass and he just takes it off. Broken belt. A leather strap similar to a belt. It's broken into and to fix it if I want to use it somehow. All I had to do was turn on the light. That would have been fine. Fuck! Lost the lady for them. Okay. Soundproof cells, presumably. I can't hear anything on the other side. <laughs> Blood! Fuckers! Suck my dick! I hate you. It's Saint Cecilia's all over again. Ariadne, whatever you're carrying with you, what I'm carrying with me must disappear for good. This could be a good hiding spot if necessary. I wonder when was the last time someone played any of this. Well, no, I guess it was 1920. Son of a bitch.
the lift call button. I bet my right hand it won't work if I push it, but I guess it won't try too hard. The lift seems to use a mechanical belt, but it's completely worn out. I need to find another one. I do have one, but it's broken. I need to fix it. So much death. These boxes have been sealed for almost 80 years. I don't feel the urge to open them. Yeah, fair enough. I got what I wanted from the morgue. So I don't need the power there anymore. I hate those random jump scares. That have no effect. Like the hands one. The hands one just fucks me up, bro. It scares the shit out of me. Or like the whispers, or the bang door. Don't get it. Don't like it. Alright, so I've done security, done more lift. So, the elevator has power now, but I still need to fix the broken belt. So, I'm gonna go upstairs, open the medical box thingy. See if the silence is still there. And the other door. Hiding spot in the musician. Closed box, a heavy metallic box. Metallic box containing emergency flares. Let's see what we've got. I could use this to light dark rooms. Emergency flares. I could use these, but I need to shine a light somewhere. Silence still vibing over there. Um Um, what's that sound? The music box? It's absurd. I don't no. even know why I came here, why I'm here. Have I really begun to believe my patient's story? And yet. There's something that I can't explain. It might just be my mind playing tricks on me, but I've started seeing things. And I hear the music from Ariadne's music box in my head. I need to understand this. There's something threatening about this place. The candles help me make the room a bit more cozy, and the last rays of sunshine still come in through the window. But the shadows in this room make me feel uneasy all i've done is clean off the dust from an old mattress and lie on it without even taking my clothes off 
since I don't really think I'll get much sleep in this place. The silence here is oppressive. Almost solid. Aside from the still hum of the phonograph and the old wooden beams creaking, I can't hear a single thing. Ariadne? Where am I? 1920, the first dream. Am I dreaming? Oh boy. Um. The phonograph stopped. Am I awake? I can't see anything outside. There's nothing but darkness. Dreaming. Don't like dreams. What? What is this place? That's that's me. What am I doing in a painting? You are listening to the music box. Argos Legrand. It's here. I've felt it again. It happens sometimes. Well, that's not English. Though always at night, when I turn out the lights, almost unperceivable, barely, just barely past where my eyes can see. But when I close my eyes, watching me with eyes that are not such, lurking in the frontier between wakefulness and sleep. What are you talking about? My dreams are unusual and my rest troubled. When I wake up, I remember seeing something in the distance. Through a window that I can barely make out, or in a fleeting reflection on the bright surface of the river as I walk arm in arm with my fiance, lost in the muds of the Great War. Other times, I dream a crowd is watching me, and that thing is there among their grey faces devoid of expression. As soon as I notice its existence, I stop being capable of finding it. Do I really want to? Do I mean to find it? What does it all mean? That's creep. Same room, and yet it's not. Oh God, who would paint pictures like that? Who is this man? <laughs> person and what has happened to him nothing but it will in a hundred years I dare not name it 
but I know it's here. There is a presence that follows me everywhere and nowhere at once in the walls and ceilings, but also buried in my mind, digging through my thoughts and painting them in the color of fear. Everything becomes a little darker each day. God, what is happening to me? When there is silence, I hear the melody. Soft, slow, beautiful, dark, sinister, terrifying and cruel. If I pay close attention, those impossible notes and unnatural chords echoing from the deepest of caverns reach me without passing through my years. In my dreams, I descend towards an indescribable place I beg never to get to see. When I wake up, all I remember is the dread. That thing is at the end of the road. It is there. I know it's there. If that's even a place, they're the same. It is there. No, it is not. It equals. It equals there. Can't be. It can't be of this world. Gonna talk louder now. Wake up! Wake up. It's me again. W what does this mean? It means you should probably wake up. Hey, it's Daniel. What? What does he have to do with me? Who is this person? I've never seen him before. It's the old woman from Ariane's drawing. It's Ariane, according to herself. Yep. It's behind every door, waiting for me to step through. It's in the cracks in the ceiling, waiting for me to walk in. It's in each shadow, every nook and cranny, waiting for me to turn my back. It's in the mirrors, waiting for me to look. Does it know that I'm aware of it? Please, please tell me it doesn't. No, 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 if it knows that I know, it will come for me. The melody twists and warps, played by grotesque instruments no person could have created. It starts out with an awful screeching sound and slowly transforms, until it can be heard amidst all the shrieking and anguish. I want to close my eyes, but I'm already asleep. I can't. I don't want to get there. These are not nightmares, it's more than that. I wish they were nightmares, but those are gone. They died of fear a long time ago. All that remains is the horror and the plateau. Only the presence and the foreboding echoes of the song. I want to disappear, stop the suffering and torment in heaven, and never hear or see anything again. I want to stop feeling it, enduring it, but I have to finish. I must do it. I must. I must get there. Cup. Wake up. Yeah. Oh God, what is happening to me? The other one opened this time. No? Guess not. Heard it wrong, I guess. No 
no more paintings. And it looks way more creepy. Is that me? Should I take the bag away? Take it away from myself? Damn it. I fell asleep. Got an achievement. The candles have practically melted through and the wax cylinder on the phonograph is about to run out. I saw something. I don't know what I contemplated in my dreams, but it felt so real it almost felt like i was moving forwards or rather downwards but i don't know towards what dr prestigard recorded herself while she slept i need to listen to the rest of the recordings if they're still here hmm, good poem by berenice a sonnet composed by dr prestigard I drift off asleep by the hundredth number to be carried away despite resistance somewhere else out in the distance, devoid of deep, peaceful slumber. The song, it beckons, it pulls me, it screams, guiding me to the depths of my own mind. An ominous glimpse, the sole thing I find something dark, impossible to believe. These cannot be only dreams. Have I been condemned? Did I become lost? What I'm seeing, what it means. Endless expanse made of stone, past the perpetual eclipse, the rims of a sun that is not our own. According to <laughs> another one of the doctor's recordings. Let's see. I think that's the other of that old phonograph. Where am I gonna find another phonograph that works? Mm hmm. Hmm. Among these strange drawings is a note that says Elaine, Ariadne's sister, murdered alongside her mother. Ariadne was just a baby. How can she remember this? Brother, 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 what is happening? No, 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 I cannot. I cannot deal with this. I'm, no, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Fuck this man. No, 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 no. Oh, no, that is not. I am not dealing with that. No, no. Hello. Oh, did you think I would come from over here where I, where I disappeared? Oh, no, no. No, no, no. I took a break. Because this game pisses me off. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And I went and I had my lunch. It was lovely. I am the opposite of hungry now. I am very satisfied. I am back to conquer the world of song of horror all right question is what is this 
Do we go to her? Or not? She says I need, she needs my help. So. Come on, Lydia. We need to get you out of here. Wake up. Portable inhaler. She gave me an inhaler. And I got an achievement. Pick out a pick out <coughs> pick out <coughs> Pick up a gift from a character you previously lost. MR James or higher difficulty. Thank you for the inhaler. I'm gonna leave now. Thank you very much. Oh, nice! Now I have an inhaler as well, whatever that does. Yeah, that's nice. Can you calm down now, Daniel? The heart is still pounding. Seriously, if you could calm down, that would be great. Okay. So. I need to go to the freezer, right? Okay, he calmed down. That's nice. Okay, I need to go to the freezer, basically. Because I got flares, so I can go inside there go in the in that room that I haven't been to because I've been in the second freezer and then where I got the drawing and then the first freezer I haven't been because I took the rope right and then darkness came in I was like oh I need light here now I got flares biatch Calm down. Calm down. Uh, go out, go out, go out, go out. I don't know how long the flare lasts. I'm scared. I don't know what I need. It's still lasting. But I still have more yet.
Oh, I would have been done by now. But now I'm too scared to go back in. Okay, I have an idea. Cheeky little stuff, eh? Yeah. Close. <gasps> oh, got a glove. Nice. Ooh. Mesh glove with leather forearm made of welded steel rings. This doesn't protect my hands, nothing will. Nice, so now I can grab the thing from the window. I mean, you definitely could do that without a glove. Just saying. An old metal stapler. It's really old, but it still has staple. Okay. Oh, can I fix the... belt? Yeah. So, elevator, the security, film, morgue, okay. Isn't it kind of weird how the dead person came back crying and gave me her inhaler? I think that's pretty creepy. Be honest.
a bit of a boss job if you ask me, but it might just work. <laughs> yeah, that is an old elevator. here now. And then these would be the main stairs, right? Okay. Old newspapers, if I wanted to read them, they're too damaged for me to even hold them. So that's open now. There's something stuck on the inside of the tube system, some kind of message. I think this thing is steam powered. Whoa. Um. Okay, stop me if, uh, <clears throat> stop me if, if this doesn't make sense, okay? So I go in a room, okay, a dead end room, and then you give me the hiding minigame from the only door that I can exit through. But in this room, there is nowhere to hide. So, how am I supposed to play the game as intended in that situation? Because I can't go out the door because it kills me because it's there. But I can't stay in the room because the darkness will get to me. But there's nowhere to hide. So... How do I play the ga game properly there? Okay. I'm not taking that as a... I know that's the second one in this episode where I'm like, nah, that doesn't count. But... That was just bullshit. Like, what am I supposed to do? It gives me the darkness in a room that I can't exit and I can't hide in. That's... that. I don't think I'm... I should die from that. I feel like... I feel like that's a bug, pretty much. Because that, that shouldn't happen. You shouldn't just get a random death. Shit. That was not a good idea. Wait. I should have gone myself. I... Ah, damn it, Daniel. Don't be such a crybaby. 
Do I still have to restart everything? After she died? Are you kidding me? No. It says the dead person is in the director room. So maybe just thought that I was the girl? Because it counted the death. But not to Daniel. Lydia, God, I hope nothing's happened to you. I'm so sorry I got you into this mess. Because I for sure. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, if I think I think if I had an Alt F4, it would have made me restart the entire episode. Which, in my opinion, I don't deserve. Because I didn't... It wasn't me. It wasn't because of me. I think. I don't know. But I don't think I should have died there. In a, like Daniel said himself, there's nowhere to hide in here. So I couldn't do anything. So I'm not calling that as my mistake. That I should be punished for. experiment report. The hospital director of the experiment conducted. General examination by director Edward Saunders of the experiment performed by Dr. Berenice Prestegard. Five patients from the experimental group have disappeared, all except for the original test subject, Ariadne Le Grand Amsberg. I don't know if they escaped or if the walls swallowed them, but they've left no trace. Security did not register any relevant incidents either. I looked for the doctor to inform her of this, but she's nowhere to be found. When I asked Ariadne if she had seen her, she shook her head and asked me if she was finally there. I asked what she meant, but she didn't say anything else. It has been impossible to re-establish communication with her. I have a horror, terrible feeling about this. Just like the Abbey, this place is also overrun with vegetation. The hospital founder, Dr. Jeremy Hartwood. Lydia told me this man was one of the first doctors to start make, take, taking mental patients' well-being seriously. Titles and diplomas, they must have belonged to the hospital director. Yeah, you can't hide anywhere. Better not do it again. There's something odd about this stuffed owl. It almost seems like some kind of puzzle someone put together. Um. Oh. She blinks, awoken by hunger.
tis night time and she listens. Letter from an artist. A brief message written by a friend of Dr. Berenice Prestigat. I found this among the photos in a history magazine. It looks a lot like the drawings done by your patient, the little girl, doesn't it? I've attached a copy, it must be a coincidence, but even so, discovering the origins of this image made me shudder. It's from the walls of a newly discovered chamber in the caves of Altamira in Spain. The painting is from the Pathiolithic. Local archaeologists have ruled that it's about 40,000 years old. An achievement. A shadow out of time. Find three ominous references to ancient times. Nothing in the fireplace to be lightning would have suited me. The table is covered in debris from the ceiling. The newspaper is barely readable. Old one down busts and clock that stopped ticking a long time ago. One down painting in a box full of newspaper, or rather what's left of them. Okay. So she blinks, then hears. She takes flight. So the You scream as she tears you away from yourself. So, claw. Satisfied, she lands on her nest. And hoots to the wind, announcing her victory. Her firm grip paralyzes you. And blood spills as she feasts. She swells and beats her wings. And satisfied she sleeps. Nice. Deteriorated key. A key hit by the passage of time. I, Alan Sedrak says the label. I suppose he was a doctor. Seems to be the photo phonograph they used to record interviews. Against all odds, I think it works. Ooh. Okay. I could hide here if I needed to. Up time. Wait, I think there's something on that table. What is this? Looks like some sort of steam operated control panel. Oh, I need to get the the steam somewhere. I can't remember where it was. Okay. Let me do this. just want to get out of here but on the other I need to know what's happening I need to understand the dreams this place causes in me 
and the visions I've had these past few days. It's pitch black outside, and the old mansion is even more menacing than before. I've taken out my last two candles, but lighted only one, in case I wake up before dawn. It would terrify me to be here, alone in the dark. I'm in Ariadne's room again. 1920, the second ring. God damn it. There's no sky, no horizon, just darkness. Yep, not the same dream. Death is everywhere in this place. Ah! Every single bottle contains poison. You... you are me. Are you Berenice? Wake up. I need to wake up. God, I need to wake up. I don't want to go there. This is our fate as well. It's as if those instruments had been out in the open for a hundred years. I give my dream catcher. What will happen to me if I lose it? Okay. A key found in a dream. Does this key open a door or my own psyche? You need to know. You need to keep going down. Huh. There's a lock on the gate. Almost all of us have heard the song. Will we end up like this? Oh my god, your strength! Your strength sucks! What happened to me? Where am I now? Only one way out. Only one way out. I have to kill myself. Is there no other way? Should I drink from this bottle? No. Hmm. Oh my god, 
I need to get out of here. I'm just gonna wait for a while. Yeah, I don't think anything's gonna happen. Do something like that. I know I'm closer to understanding something, to finding that last puzzle piece. But I also realize there's no turning back. I feel like I've broken something inside of me that can't be mended. Each dream feels closer to that place. And further from reality, it's still dark outside. But it seems like the candle burned out a while ago. It must be close to dawn. Yes, it can't be long now. I have to find answers. Get to the bottom of this matter. I understand Ariadne and what is happening to me. Oh God, Berenice, tell me you understood. I need to find the next recording. Yeah. Ariadne's lost drawings collected by the description of a scene that must take place. Must take place. What is that? Is that Ariadne the old sitting in her chair? And then is that me in the red and blue pants? Might be me. So I have to talk to Ariadne. And the black thing is gonna be everywhere. Another century psychiatry books. I'm afraid they're as useless to me as a treatise on astrophysics. God, this room, I've been here before. How the hell is that even possible? Good question, Daniel. This room is sus. Okay, so I have to do this. Where was the pipe thing? Was it, I think? I think it was director's office, right? Because that's where I died. Yeah. Okay, let's bring the steam to the director's office down there. So the steam is currently going wherever that is. What happens if I turn this? Now it goes there. Now it goes here. So one more. So it goes. So it goes below. Now it should go down there. And then into this one. And then.
Okay, so now it goes there. I need director's office, so I need one more. So that it goes straight. And then one more, so that it goes below. And then this one. Surprisingly easy. Uh, 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 not a key. Recording three. This is the last recording. I hope I find something useful. No use in placing the cylinder in there with while the needle is broken. Fuck! That would have been too easy. Would have been too easy. Okay. Well, let's try the key up there. check if this is still here still there Needle. Old medicine books. Doctor Alan Sedrak's notes, despairing conclusions of one of the hospital's psychiatrists. Well, this is a long one, man. Oh God! This game is taking everything out of me. Doctor Prestigard was right. At first, I was. Dismissive of her experiment, why waste all those resources on proving to a sick girl that what she claimed to see was due to the abnormal functioning of her psyche? Yet it all made sense when she subjected the patients to the song in the music box, and when the doctor began to describe her own experiences. The rapid mental and cognitive decline and the hallucinations suffered by the subjects in the experimental group became impossible to ignore. Faced not only with a new disorder, but also, once the effects described spread to the hospital staff for the first time in history, a contagious mental illness, a noble prize on a silver platter. In light of the results, however, facts confound my expectations. The song completely broke their minds and took them all at the pinnacle of their madness. That's one thing that data shows that they're all, they all share in common, except for Ariadne Legrand Amsberg. That girl is the only one from the group that is still with us. Her cell is the only one free... Again, human. Discover the truth about Ariadne. The only one free of horrible screaming, and here is the only behavior 
and hers is the only behavior that hasn't changed. She's the only one to have gone on unscathed, and she still acts exactly as she did before the experiment. I think Dr. Prestigard was right about the reasons for this. Ariadne's file indicates that she was exposed to the song when she was barely a few months old. She was a baby, her mind a blank canvas with a limitless capacity for adaptation. Not, la not like us, we broke, or we are going to break. Ariadne's mind, like a young tree bending under unbearable forces, has not snapped but rather grown in a different way. It has twisted and therefore can no longer be broken. The song, the dark figure, the horrible visions and dreams are simply her normality, her everyday life, since she can remember. If only I could find Dr. Prestigard and tell her, tell her she was right. There's no solution. What will become of all of us? Hmm. Of its supplies from the 20s, there's a label on the agenda that says it belonged to one Dr. Alan Sedrak. Stethoscope, medical instrument that enhances hearing. This should help me listen to what I couldn't hear before. Hmm. What couldn't I hear before? Uh, so I need a needle. That, I don't need that anymore. Oh, the padded cells! Oh, I need to find her cell. Ooh. That could be interesting. Hmm. Can I take the elevator? I doubt it, but I'll test it. It's less power, so. Okay, so she is on the south. Okay, but which one's south? Because they're east and west. It's not south and north. Yep, nope. Nope. Oh wait, these are all... These are all six in the south. And then the north is the ones above. Yeah, 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 okay. I, th 
I think this is it. Ariadne's lost again achievement. The oval portrait. Find all of Adriana's Ariadne's lost drawings. Ariadne's lost drawings collected by a description of a scene that could take place. Uh oh. Is that that's still me with a red jacket in. So this must take place. I have to go to Ariadne. But it could I could go to a big door and die something? Oh, is there different endings? Bad endings and good endings. Here's a syringe. Oh, Jesus. I think the needle should be enough. This will be handy, providing I don't stab myself and die of garn green. Okay. Get me out of here. Let's go end this mess. What the fuck? Where's the hiding spot? It's over here. I figured I'd have to do it again, but... This place... That thing... The presence... That's what Argos Legrand called that horror. Now I know why. It's anywhere the song is. In the hospital. In Ariadne. In me. Everywhere. Maybe there's no solution. Maybe it isn't something you can just... End. But maybe... Cut it off from everything, from, from this world. Burn the bridge. Return the song to whence it came. If I take the box to that place, if I leave it there, with the presence, I need to push forward just a little longer. I need to understand. I need to put an end to this. I need to go there. Hmm. I need to know. I need to make it. Yeah, but that's not gonna go well. And we know that because this was in 1920. The song is still a problem. Do you need my help or do I need yours? Among the darkness, I can see a dull and hypnotic greenish glow. Really? That's new. The wall is deteriorating, giving way to something else, to someplace else. Down. Always down. And no light. Eesh. 
Yeesh, brother. Scare me. Oh, it's giving me a headache. This is stressing me out. <laughs> Ariadne. <laughs> We're going down. Deep, deep down. Still going. Ah, oh, you made it. Hello. Do you happen to know where the bathroom is? I'm kind of shitting myself over here. Maybe if I turn out the lantern. But isn't that me? What will happen if, if I turn it off? Should I turn it off? Yep. Oh, that's the door. And that's the black thing. Oh, shit. Shit. I'm I got two away. achievements. The pit and the pendulum and on the shoulders of giants. I want to see what those are. Ariadne was right. She was right about everything. Daniel, you're missing it. My own eyes. Even if it was in dreams, it's true. That place. The presence. I know what I have to do. Now that I'm awake, I need to... I need to get the music box and find a way to take it there. Yes. I solved this riddle. Now that I'm awake, I can put an end to this horror once and for all. Now that I'm awake, I can... I can. Awake. Finale. There. Now let me check what these achievements were. You have discovered what to do with the music box. What's today? And... Uh, you have completed Berenice's third dream, okay? <laughs> okay. Still got the finale, eh? Oh, apparently I could've had, yeah, I could I mean, yeah. Figured. Could've had Etienne and Sophie because I could've called them, but... They were dead. Now Lydia's dead as well. All you, Daniel. All you. Wait, how long is the finale? Ariadne would not save me. Sorry. She had grown up with that melody and had developed a mind so distorted 
that it could withstand the horrors it saw each day. But there was another way out. To break the connection between our reality and that terrible place. To take the song and its nightmares to their place of origin. I was the only person who could do it. The only one who had heard the melody and, so far, lived to tell the story. Time was running out. The mansion was still far away, and my damned car chose that precise moment to go belly up. Everything Oops. seemed to conspire against me, but I wasn't about to give up. There wasn't much time left, but I knew I still had a chance. God, so is it timed? And I'm gonna get one of the two endings? Which is something that should happen and something that could happen? There. <clears throat> there. It's almost over. Just Okay, well so is this the let me just see how long this is. Not that long. Alright. Find the box and take it to that place. You got this. Hello. I'm coming in. Doesn't answer. I should go inside. This shit is timed, isn't it? But I don't want to sprint. Broken mirror, probably Argus the Grand that Ranth Gariadna is ever prompted to break them like all the other victims of the song. But on the radio and two stone buster, probably family ancestors. History book, talk about the book, we family in Hamsburg. Pile of old books, most of them are a hundred years this old. This is the grant. Pardon me for barging in like this, but I need that box. Elaine Negrant Armsburg, music box in hand, completely oblivious of what the future has in store for her. Elaine, Ariadne's older sister. What a senseless tragedy. Hmm. The box! The music box I gave you. I need it. Please, tell me where it is. Its box... is upstairs. Thank you. I promise I'll free both of us from that cursed thing. Upstairs, Mr. Neuer, in my room, there. Okay, I'm not gonna... That's her in the chair, like we saw in the picture. Here. But I didn't sit on the couch this time. Which one is your which one is your room? Okay, the box is somewhere on this floor. I'm assuming one of these two. Okay. Mm -mm.
Ariadne and Elaine's mother, Natalie of House Amsberg, I think I remember. No way. So much dust in the street, you can barely see the original color. They've probably been here decades. Mm -hmm. A little girl's personal notes. Name Elaine appears several times. Elaine the Grand Amsberg with Ariane in her arms. Uh, As if I see it next to the mirror. Oh. I think there's a thick layer of dust on the mattress. It still looks slightly deformed as if someone had slept on it a long time ago. Maybe even Beatrice pressed the guard. Yeah, it was her. Alright. Here we go. That time's the charm. Where am I? You're there. Oh no. The city is oh no. Oh no. Oh no no. Oh no no. Oh no. Doctor Prestigard. And it's Prestigard's nightmare. dreamed about an eclipsed sun a solar eclipse towering over a great expanse have you seen anything like that in your dreams no have you recently dreamed about an eclipsed sun no A solar eclipse towering over a great expanse. Have you seen anything like that in your dreams? No. Have you recently dreamed about an eclipsed sun? Ariadne, are you there? He always lies. The man next door. He always lies about his dreams. Number five. Okay. Oh, I don't know. What is the eclipsed sun about? She said there's two patients. Why do I have the patch of perseverance? Okay, I'm gonna go for number five. I'm gonna trust that yard now.
Oh, I didn't read this. Um, and yet two of the other subjects, enclosed in opposite cells, have begun to refer a dream in which they see a dark place with an eclipsed sun. Only one of the two has heard the melody. It is deemed possible that the other is a case of sheer suggestion having heard their fellow patient's description. On another note, several subjects taking part in the experiment have placed candles in their cells. Although not all of them had listened to the melody. We assume it is possible that they are simply imitating that they see other patients do in opposite cells. For some reason, the valves in the sound system explode when we play the song in a cell. And there are only three left. We must proceed with the last two subjects as soon as possible. They must not escape. God. Okay, this guy doesn't have candles. Three doesn't have candles. Five lied. I can't see in one. Six subjects would make to listen to Ariadne's music box. The procedure has already begun exposing further these subjects to the music with surprising effects. Ariadne, the control present, did not present any changes after listening to the music in her cell, and yet two of the other subjects enclosed in opposite cells have begun to refer a dream in which they see a dark place with an eclipsed sun. Only one of the two has heard the melody. It is deemed possible that the other in the, is a case of sheer suggestion. On another note, several subjects taking part in the experiment have placed candles in their cells, although not all of them have listened to the melody. We assume it is possible that they are simply imitating what they see other patients do in opposite cells. So it wasn't number five. He's, he had already listened to it. I might have fucked it already. I'm gonna guess it's number three. And number two. Number three has no lights, which means he probably didn't hear it. And two is on the opposite side as five. So he might have lit the candles because he saw number five light the candles and number five lied about seeing the eclipse sun so i'm gonna guess it's two and three Here goes nothing. Don't know anything about the guy in number one, though. He didn't say anything. And he's opposite to Ariadne. Did I fuck it up? I don't know if I fucked it up. I might have fucked it up. I'm getting the bad ending, and I? Did I fuck it up? I'm gonna look it up.
Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, I remember. Okay, yeah, so I... I remember. I remember. So, because I got all three of these, I think, or something that I got, it said that the achievement was... You have... Was it... I can't remember which one. But it said that I only need to solve two out of three puzzles. And there's three... Apparently there's three... I'm not looking at... At, at this. To see the other ones. But... I'm looking for better trees. For this puzzle, you must find the three people that have not yet heard the music box melody interacting with your room. We'll give you clues, input the correct number, and then press play. You have three attempts to complete this puzzle. Correct solution is one plus two, so I fucked it up. Oh, I knew there was gonna be fucking number one. Then why did three not have candles? Okay. Well, this is bad, because that means now I have to solve the other two perfectly. Focus. Ariadne. Ariadne, where are you? Ariadne, hold on. Dad is going to save you. Monsters, you won't take my baby away. I must hide her. Just monsters. No! 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 Okay. The lantern that was easy. Out. If I could just do the same with the rest. Isaac Farber. Is there anyone else? No, because there's, there's only three, right? Husher. Oh, God. Was it two out of three or was it three out of four? Oh, God, I can't remember. Oh god, I can't remember. Oh god.
Oh god. Was it 3 out of 4? No, because there's only 2 lamps left. God damn it. I don't remember if it was 2 out of 3 or 3 out of 4. Okay, Husher, let's see what you got. This can't be real. Mr. Husher? No. Bitch. The history of my family, of everyone who stayed in the house. Husha wrote... Marsha had not found the way out. Trapped and alone in her room, the darkness loomed over her. Where did she seek refuge? Alcohol, suicide, or the Bible. Masha. I don't know. Which one was Masha? Was Masha the daughter or the... The Bible. Stop the shadows. Husha wrote, Julia found the impossible door again. Julia was a daughter. This time, it was a jar. What did she do? Fuck me. Why are you playing with my memory? My memory sucks. Did she walk into it? No. Did she walk away? Or did she call mom? Uh, I think... I think she called mom. But this time it was a jar. What did she do? Mom! Yeah, I remember her calling mom, I think. This is not what happened. Whoa. Well, thanks for telling me. Oh, fuck me! Did she walk into it? Or did she walk away? Oh, I don't remember. I swear I remember her calling mom. Ah... Did she find the door?
And then... The ch I, I swear I remember her calling mom. And then the kid... Got the dolls and then hid them... Oh my god, I don't remember if she walked to or if she walked away. Did she walk in? No. Oh. I think walking into it. Make, makes the most sense. Because why would she walk away, right? Ah. Uh, she called... She called her... Her brother found the door. Um... It wouldn't make sense to walk away. I don't remember, but walking into it just makes more sense. Please. Julia entered what is to leave it open. Great was her horror when she discovered that once on the other side, the door had disappeared. Okay. Brr. How many things do I have to remember? I don't know what she took. Scissors. Saul or baseball bat. Am I supposed to remember this? Catherine and Saul were in the bedroom when suddenly the door began to open. Oh, I think it was the baseball bat. I remember something. I don't think it was scissors. It's either the baseball bat or Saul. Oh, this is mad. Oh. The baseball bat. Is it the baseball? What was with the baseball bat? There was something with the baseball that I remember that. But it's... Now that seems more like a thing. Or was it Saul that took the baseball bat? Might have been. So did she take Saul? It doesn't seem like a thing a mom would do to take the baseball bat. I should just be... Uh, just take the kid. Catherine took little soul in her arms. She couldn't comfort him or stop that thing that was lurking beyond the threshold from entering. So... Ah. Oh. Couldn't stop it from entering, so what did she do? She didn't try. So... They hugged each other or they escaped. Well, definitely they didn't, they definitely didn't escape. So definitely they hugged each other. When it's only two, it's much easier. <laughs> I know for a fact they didn't escape. They hugged each other and said the last goodbye before the darkness swallowed them up. Is that it? Nice. Okay. I don't even need the last door. So it was two. 
or it might have been that you needed to solve three out of four but because i got all the stuff i needed to solve two out of four instead okay that's nice Do you have the do you have the music box, buddy? You don't have the music box. You don't have the box. I oh, know you have it, of course. See you never. Run, Daniel! Run! Woo! Good job, Daniel! Oh God! At last! I did it! I fucking did it! Good job, Daniel! You're a beast! There and back again, achievement. You have left the music box where it belongs. Do I go sit down with the lady now? Ariadne? How's she gonna handle the darkness being gone? Since that was her entire life. The exit. Etienne Bernard. What? Sense. Argos Legrand with his later all eldest daughter Elaine. What is this painting about exactly? Well, I don't know, I can't see it. I leave? No. <laughs> Wait, what's he gonna say? I should tell Ariadne what happened, yeah. Everything will be okay, Mrs. Legrand. I'll be sitting down. And that song will never play in this world again. The darkness behind, probably. I... I must have fallen asleep. What time is it? Getting late. Do you mind if I turn on the light? No. He doesn't like the light. No. But it likes the sound. <laughs> For Elaine, my firstborn and my pride. Wait, were there two music boxes? I remember it saying for Ariane. What? 
Maybe not. You're dead. Is that you? Etienne? Etienne, help me, please! Help! Somebody! Help me, please! Help! Let me out! Achievement unlocked every now and then. You have witnessed the end of Daniel's story. I don't like that. I don't like that ending. <laughs> what was that? 24 hours. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't like that ending. It was kind of... All this happened for nothing. All these people, and they figured out that... The way to win was to take the music box to there, and then once it did it, it just comes back. Ruariadne? Hmm. I don't know. And then he just dies. And then for some reason, Etienne closes the door on him, which is already weird because Etienne was already dead. In my story, so. That's a little. a little inconsistent, I think. Unless I'm just dumb. And then really understand it properly. Hmm. Okay. HP Lovecraft difficulty has not been unlocked. Yeah, can't wait to play the same game for 24 more hours <laughs> you know, it higher, harder the difficulty mind you i will have to play it again because i only got 24 out of 44 27 out of 44 achievements i'm an achievement hunter and i like getting achievements oh yeah Ooh, okay well then that's it we're done Finally, with Song of Horror, it feels like it's been so long. Wow, oh my god. Yeah, that was it. There you go. Thanks for watching the the series. I, ho I really hope you enjoyed watching me struggle with all the puzzles and stuff. And... Hopefully I'll see you there in the in the next horror game that I choose to play. Which I don't know. I don't know which one it is yet. I have a few on the list. But I don't know which one I should do next. But we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully I see you there. But until then. Thanks for watching until now. And I'll see you whenever I see you.